Hi, I'm Margie. I hope you enjoy this little video we've produced. Public protest against 5G technology installation and its health risks. Five G technology has been rapidly advancing in 2018. People are concerned. What are the potential side effects? It is yet unknown, so the public are demanding that their local officials take a long, hard look at potential health issues with this new 5G wireless communication network. What is 5G? It stands for Fifth Generation Wireless Systems. It promises to supercharge the speed of smartphones and other wireless devices, making them up to 100 times faster than its predecessor, 4G. The new technology for 5G will be used to send and receive very large amounts of data at superfast speeds by using both low band and high band frequencies. The frequencies from the latter are made up mostly by a type of electromagnetic radiation called millimeter waves. We know that data from cell towers to cell phones is sent and received in the form of radio frequency radiation. And we know from various studies that heavy exposure to this radiation has been linked to all kinds of medical conditions, including increased risks of cancer, heart disease, sleep disorders to name but a few. MMWs find it difficult to go through solid materials, and they only have a short distance reach. So, to be effective, the 5G network will need a lot more antennas, which in urban areas is estimated at one antenna for every 10 to 12 houses. A huge increase in radiation, which in itself causes great concern. MIMO technology is a wireless system that uses many transmitters, not just one, and will also be used by the 5G network. This means that an MIMO system can send and receive more data, the more transmitters it uses. This technology, already in use by many 4G towers, needs to use up to eight antennas. The MIMO system, in comparison could need up to 100 antennas per tower. More capacity, equals more transmitters, equals higher doses of EMR. So, major increased health risks are inevitable. There have been many scientific studies on MMW frequencies, and various negative effects on human health, have been linked to them. In an Israeli study, human sweat ducts act as an array of tiny helix-shaped antennas that when exposed to MMWs, amplify the effect of MMWs, instead of just being soaked up by the skin. So, instead of doing their intended job of cooling the body, the sweat ducts are conducts for EMF. They are causing us to harm ourselves. To make matters worse, a different study on MMWs found that more than 90% of the power transmitted by these waves is absorbed by the skin. Harm being done to us. There will certainly be a rise in the number of cases of skin cancers and diseases in the 5G coverage areas. Worldwide, there have been extensive studies on the effects of EMR. A Russian study conducted in 2002 found that our skin is not the only part of our bodies at risk. They exposed lab mice to EMR at the same frequency as some MMWs and reported that the immune systems of the mice were greatly weakened. An experiment done in 1992 found that the heart rate of rats could be negatively affected and a similar study using frogs produced similar results. Abnormal heartbeat rates or rhythms were developed by the animals. MMWs can also affect the eyes, as shown in studies done by Poland and Japan. 
Polan said that low-level exposure caused the rat's eyes to get the beginnings of cataracts, whilst Japan found that MMWs can cause various thermal injuries to their organs. Concern about 5G is widespread, and not only by the general public, who we have seen are already suffering the effects of it. 180 researchers and health professionals want the rollout of 5G technology delayed until it could be better evaluated by independent researchers. It will be too late to recant after 5G has done its damage. Did you enjoy that? We hope so, because here at Life Energy Designs, we want to educate you so that you can live the best possible life that you can. Any feedback or anything that you want to say to us, we would love to hear from you. Take care. <laughs>